Hey guys, I'm going to lead you through this bifurcations notebook made in Mathematica in order to help you understand what bifurcations look like and how we can model them using a very awesome tool like Mathematica. So the first section of this notebook is the intro. The intro gives an explanation of what a bifurcation is and also uses a command from the past, the plot slope field function, which allows us to see slope fields due to a differential equation. All right, so there are four sessions under these things. They are all about bifurcations, which you, should, you would do outside of class. The first one is the blue sky bifurcation. In order to see what the, everything underneath one of these sections, you have to double click on the right hand side drop down arrow right here. All right, so this allows you to see what is underneath the section. So the first thing is just about like what equations we're going to be using and explaining what ND solve is. ND solve is a command that allows us to numerically solve differential equations instead of analytically. The first, if you have only one question mark for ND solve, the only thing you get is a basic explanation of what you can put into that command. If you have two question marks, you get this, in addition to all the options you can make for this command. All right, so there are two new flight commands within this part of this, within this section of the notebook. The first one shows this function f h of p, which was simply the differential equation above. It was p prime equals some junk, and that junk equals f h of p right here. On the right hand side is the slope field with the, with the solution trajectory. As I manipulate these parameters, h, k, and n, I can see how this modifies the f h of p function in addition to the slope field. p naught is simply the initial condition of this differential equation. As I increase it, see the right hand line going up, and as I decrease it, see it go down. p naught is simply p of 0 of the differential equation. What is that equal to? Right. The other manipulate command in this section of the notebook is one that shows a solution trajectory on a slope field, like in the manipulate command above, in addition to the bifurcation diagram. When I manipulate the parameter a, this just simply lengthens the size of the graph so you can see the full extent of the bifurcation diagram. If I extend k out, the bifurcation diagram extends out to 0 0.25. And n, as I modify that to its greatest extent, we can see that the bifurcation diagram now fills up the whole entire graph. In addition, I can modify the parameter h to change the solutions of the differential equation. And I can modify p naught in order to get different types of solutions. The other three sections of the notebook are on transcritical, supercritical pitchfork, and subcritical pitchfork bifurcations. Transcritical pitchfork is simply ay minus y squared. This output looks like this. As I modify the parameter a, say say solutions change. Notice the grid line, this faint gray line, on the bifurcation diagram on the right. In addition, Note that there are solid lines and dashed lines, in addition to these lines having color. The colors represent the solutions, and whether the line is dashed or solid represents that the, if the source is either a source or a sink. I can, in addition, modify the parameter y not to see how the solution changes. Supercritical pitchfork bifurcation looks like this. A sink solution, more sink solutions. In addition to there being a source of y equals 0. As I modify the parameter a, I can see how this changes the, the solutions to the differential equation. The same state solutions to the differential equation. When I modify the parameter y not, this changes to where the solution decays to. 
The last bifurcation that we shall observe in this notebook is the subcritical pitchfork bifurcation. This bifurcation is simply the reverse of the supercritical pitchfork bifurcation. And then you, as you modify the parameter A, you can see solutions decreasing to zero and eventually becoming zero when the parameter A is greater than zero. All right, hope you guys had an awesome time listening to me talk about bifurcations, and you have a fantastic day.